In today's video, I'm gonna show you a new project which is called Sign in AI. I already invested into this and I will purchase some more nodes today in this video because this is a node project, it's in its early stages and it very much reminds me of, for example, Navy AI, which you should know if you follow my channel for quite some time. And I invest on a lot of those node projects just a recent one, which I didn't cover here on this channel, was the Carve node sale. There I purchased two nodes in stage two, and now I want to get in early into sign in AI because I expect this also to be a nice project, especially because of the two narratives we have here, which is AI and machine learning, which are two big topics and should do pretty well in the upcoming few weeks, few months, once the market is green again. That's why we want to take a look into sign in AI today very quick. I'm still on vacation, so I'm on my mobile setup. I just have my laptop and my microphone here in my hand. So once I'm back home, you can enjoy my usual setup. So let's get into the topic. On the homepage, there's not much detail. That's why you want to jump directly into their tokenomics, which is the interesting part because they offer 40% of the overall token supply for mining. And that's exactly the type of project I'm looking for. I want to have a big chunk of the supply offered to all node runners, especially the early ones, because as we all know, the earlier you get into those node projects, the higher the rewards are because you have to split them with less people. And those 40% are all in all 400 million token total supply here in this case is 1 billion and the token name here is SYAI. They will also have a public sale in the near future but it's not determined yet. If we take a look into the token utility this will be a governance and staking token. You of course get the rewards token in the beginning once you run those nodes and those reward tokens can later on be converted into the real token as it is in all those node projects if you for example are into Xi nodes or into the Galaxis nodes or yeah I could mention a few more but that's how they work. Their Twitter account is also very young. They have around 20,000 followers. They post on a regular basis. They, for example, also just had an AMA on Binance Live. I listened into this and the project manager Bruno talked about the project. I will, of course, link this below this video. I will, of course, link this below this video that you can do your own research on it and get a better understanding what they are exactly doing here. So we want to get straight into the node sale, how you can purchase those nodes, which networks are available, and if you need a VPS or something to run those nodes. At this point, I can directly tell you nothing is required. Those nodes run on a dashboard like it is for Galaxis, like it is, for example, for Navy AI, and you basically mint an NFT, which is your ownership of this node. And later on, they might implement a GPU running for this, so you might want to set this up on a VPS later on. But as it is for now on all these other projects as well, you can just run it by purchasing the node. And that's it, that's the first step to get into the project. And therefore, you wanna have some funds on those four different networks. First step, you of course wanna connect your wallet. Then you choose the network here. They have Ethereum, ZK Sync, Arbitrum, and Base available. I, for example, have some funds on Base. Then you choose the asset you wanna purchase those nodes with. They offer Ethereum, USDBC, and USDC. I, in my case, have some USDC on this wallet. Then you choose the quantity. I already have three of them, so I wanna purchase two more. That I have an overall of five of those nodes. So this is basically an investment of 1,000 US dollars. And if you apply a promo code here in this case, you get the nodes even cheaper because there is a 5% discount on them. I will of course provide one down in the description box. You can also use the one you see here on my screen that you don't have to pay the full amount. So I basically pay 380 US dollars for those two nodes. I'm not sure where we are currently here with tier number one of those nodes. So it might happen that once you watch this video, those are already sold out and we are at tier two or tier three, because as far as I know, the marketing for this project just started. There will be a few more videos in the upcoming days and weeks and also people on Twitter will talk about that. So you might wanna purchase those nodes in the early stages once they are cheaper. Then you just click on confirm. Once you have the funds on your wallet available, of course, then we have to approve our asset because USDC is not the native token on the base blockchain. So I'm approving 380 USDC. 
confirm the transaction on my wallet. And once this is confirmed, there will be another transaction which asks me to pay those 380 USDC. And then I will get two nodes in return, which I can then see on my dashboard and will then start to generate me the reward token of the project. So I will sign and create the transaction. You can see I pay 380 USDC and I get two NFTs in return, which basically display my node ownership. Then we can already jump over to the dashboard, which you can also find if you click on node and then navigate over to the dashboard. And if I now refresh this page, we should now see all five nodes here. Those are the three current ones. And now the two additional ones should also be displayed. What you might also want to do right now, because there might be an airdrop as we saw it in some of the other projects as well. You want to test their test net by going to the test net and to the Genesis pass. First, you want to get some testnet tokens by getting to their faucet. You want to insert your wallet address and claim some of those tokens. Then you can click on sign a network testnet that it gets directly added to your wallet. And once you receive the tokens, you can just do some transactions on their testnet. All of the information is, of course, provided also on their Discord, which will also be linked down in the description box. If you still have any questions, feel free to drop them below this video. I hope this initial overview helped to introduce you to Sign and AI. If there are some major changes in the future, I will of course do update videos on it. If you don't want to miss them, just jump on my channel, click the subscribe button. If you like today's video, hit the like button as well. And then we will meet in the next one. See you then.